That's it. Heart rate stable. If we don't use human DNA now, someone else will. Millions of people are suffering and dying. What are the moral considerations of that? This won't be human. She's become unstable. It's coming out. What's dangerous about the film actually attracted Adrian and Sarah to it, and they really embraced it. Both uh, Adrian Brody and Sarah Pauly are, are sick, perverted individuals. I say that with great affection because they're wonderful. They were wonderful to work with. They were wonderful partners. And, and I really think, you know, if, if you become engaged with the film, it's because of the actors. You, uh, you had a big hand in this movie. You want to tell me how difficult that was? I mean, as, as far as writing it and then directing it? Well, I, I co-wrote it, and uh, it was done co-written with two other writers. And that was a process that, as I say, took almost a decade. Um, and I also worked with actual geneticists who consulted on the science of the film. And what was amazing about that process was to see how the real science was catching up to my fiction. So this is actually closer than we think? As I was in the process of developing the film, I realized that I didn't need to exaggerate too much. That it's, it, to the best of my ability, I, st I tried to stay true to the real science and the way real labs work and the way the real science is, is done. So there, there are things in the film that don't exist, but by and large, it's, it's pretty close to reality. Literally, there are only five speaking parts in the film. There's really only two major locations. And, and the result is um, a production that was more manageable, that was possible. That was the only way I was able to make the movie. But at the same time, I think creatively was an interesting choice because what it means is that while this is a creature film, it's a very emotional one. It's very intimate. It's very character-based. I like to say that it's, it's a creature film spliced with a relationship story, and I think that's what makes it unique. For me, the best horror films push the line. They, they go a little bit beyond what is morally acceptable, and um, I think that's what the horror genre does really, really well, and, and I hope that Splice does that to it. It kind of pushes the boundaries of, of what you might be prepared to see in a movie. Um, and, and therefore, I, I'm pretty sure that there will be a certain group of people who will really connect with this film because it's giving them something that you can't find easily in a, in a mainstream theater.